And this guy's gonna come from the ceiling to zap him real quick. Delayed reaction. <laughs> Tracking five obscura paintings for a client. People are dying out there. Handle it, Vigoran. Oh. Egypt, Werner. You walked away and left me. Get out! Get out of the way! What's up everybody, Badass Games, welcome back to Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness. Today we're in Von Croy's apartment, we're about to head off to Prague, but before we do that we gotta take care of some business here, in Paris I guess. And uh, you might notice that there's a, a gun and some ammunition over here, well, um, if you uh, pick up this clip right here, it actually ends up being an infinite ammunition pickup. So you can pick this up as many times as you want, um, until you pick up this pistol. Once you pick up this pistol, then it stops becoming infinite. Uh, but there is a lot of other ammunition are sitting around here. Now you're going to want to avoid picking up that cane that you see on the ground right here in front of the window. All right, that is going to trigger the next event. We want to we want to halt that for now because we want to go around here and check some stuff out, pick up some items. Um, if we come over here to the desk, we'll get some information. The Lux Veritatis. Aha. Facts about the Lux Veritatis. They were a 12th century offshoot of the Knights Templar dedicated to suppressing evil, particularly works of sorcery and alchemy. Responsible for destroying Eckhart, the black alchemist in 1445. Or so it says here. The Sanglyph. And there's one more right here. There's information here on the Sanglyph. It says the black alchemist Peter van Eckhart created an artifact of alchemic power, the Sanglyph. It was made in five metallic parts and hidden. Perhaps those were the metal symbols in the obscure paintings. All right, and that's all that there is there. There's some more stuff to be uh, to pick up around here, though. There's a lot of stuff, so um, keep your eye out. There's a bunch of uh, ammunition for this weapon that we just picked up. Remember, we just lost all of our weapons. We had uh, Curtis take them all away from us. So, um, also, I'm pretty sure Bouchard's henchman, after he knocked us out cleaned us up with whatever he left behind so um, yeah we all we have is this gun that we just picked up and it's pretty crappy but it'll do for now I suppose 
Um, we don't need to use it right now, but we do need to go around and pick up some of the ammunition that's laying around here. There's some more of this uh, rig ammo on the counter here, and on the counter here as well, and then turn around and there's be some on the floor back here as well. And then um, by the spiral staircase just underneath it, there's some bandages. And then what we want to do is we want to avoid the spiral staircase for now. We want to bust through this door. We'll get a lower body strength upgrade. My legs feel strong. And there's some more pickups in here, uh, just a couple more of this uh, rig ammo, and then we also have some SMG ammo. Okay, it's uh, not for the Mag Vega, this is for the um, um, Viper SMG, which is what we're going to get here in a little bit. Um, it's going to become very useful. Now when we enter this bathroom, we want to turn around and pick up some of the items that are uh, back this direction. There's a small med pack there on the wall, and there's also a uh, another rig clip there on the ground. And then let's go continue into Von Croy's bedroom. Um, over here by the closet, we'll find some ammunition. And then inside of the closet, we'll also find a bunch of items too, like a large med pack and some more uh, Viper ammo. There's just stuff everywhere in this house. So make sure you give a good uh, thorough cleaning of this house, okay? Um, I picked up three items there in the um, closet, and I'll pick up three items out here as well. There's another clip here on the ground for the uh, rig, and then the another Viper SMG clip right here in the corner. Okay, let's check this out for some in more information. The Cabal. Let's see what we have on the Cabal. A powerful alliance of five alchemists and sorcerers in the 13 and 1400s. Eckhart is said to have betrayed and murdered almost all of them to control their secrets. Now that is interesting. It says the Cabal and the Lux Veritatis battled constantly, even after the disappearance of the Black Alchemist Eckhart in 1445. So that's a bunch of interesting information, and once we've done all that, we want to come over here and pick up this um, cane that's on the ground. You might want to save your game before you do it, because this guy, uh, what's going to do is actually going to bring the cleaner into the house. Okay, remember the last video? Eckhart said he's sending in the cleaner. Well, we want to bring him in here. Now, I'm going to stand behind this couch. I'm just going to wait for him. He's going to come th uh, running in through that door there. I'm just going to unload my gun as, as much as I can on him. Okay, he's going to probably go this direction. And then uh, when he gets to a spot, duck, because he will fire. And then now it's just a gun battle. You just try to get as many shots off before he stands up and shoots at you. Um, when he's down, when he's cowered behind that, you're still getting shots off. Lara is smart enough to actually hit him in the face, so I am hitting him still. Every time he stands up, I'm just going to duck behind the thing and then stand up and pop shots off. And finally, um, Lara loses her lock, meaning that he is now able to uh, uh, run away. Now be careful, because uh, you don't want him to bug out. I think he might have just bugged out. Yeah, he bugged out. Um, this might be bad. Nope, where'd he go? Okay, something's weird, but regardless, um, hopefully he, I'm able to continue the next part. Uh, we want to run over here into the right in this hallway because um, there's uh, another laser trap right there. Uh, you don't want to go through those because they will blow you up. Let's go to the end of this hallway and kick through this door because this is going to give us some items. Now, if you can't kick that door down, it's because you need a lower body strength upgrade that you can get in Von Croy's apartment. We got that on the first floor. There's only one door you can kick down, and uh, so do that. Inside there we got some clips and we got some med packs. Let's go in this room now and pick up this clip. Now, when you go and pick up the second clip in this room, it's going to cause a cutscene and spawn this guy. Again, he's gonna shoot through this wall and he's gonna he's gonna find you here. That's fine. What we want to do is we want to duck as soon as we can. I'm holding the duck button right now, actually. So now that I'm uh, ducked, I'm gonna try to get a good position behind this couch, and then I'm going to just constantly uh, raise and lower myself from the duck position and uh, shoot the guy. So I'm just gonna literally let go and hold on to the duck button like instantaneously. As soon as I let go, I'm pressing it again. Get a couple shots off. And then just keep doing that over and over again. We got plenty of ammunition. And if he does shoot you, you might flinch, but that's fine. Um, right there I flinched. Uh, just wait a split second before you stand up again and you should be able to unload on him. Now, now I'm not getting any indication that I'm hitting this guy. This That's a problem. Like I really want to know if I'm hitting him or not, but um, it doesn't really matter because eventually I do uh, kill him or I do get rid of him. So there we go. He finally took off. 
but I really hate it when they don't give you a hit indication. Like, I kind of want to know that I am doing the right thing, um, especially when it's the first time I've ever played the game. So, uh, on the table here, there is a uh, chocolate bar, and then we also have. Uh, he dropped his SMG, so now we have an SMG we can use against him. For some reason, I guess he thought it was out of ammo, but there's plenty of ammo here that he just completely ignored, so whatever. <clears throat> to our benefit, we now have an SMG that we're going to use on this guy. Now, be careful when you go out this hallway because there are laser traps and uh, death. Um, in order to get through this trap, what you got to do is you got to hold the crouch button as well as the stealth button, and then she'll go down to a commando crawl, and you're able to commando crawl underneath these lasers. So that's interesting, hopefully- oh, I thought I was gonna stand up into that thing. Alright, so now we're going to uh, see cutscene where we're gonna blow up half this stairwell. And that's cool. What we want to do is there's a small med pack in the distance, we're gonna go grab that. We just run and jump toward this rail here, and you can grab it, sort of. Sort of grab it. And then we can go and grab this small med pack back here. Now let's go back over here where we came from, and I'm, we wanted to descend the stairs, we want to go all the way down to the bottom here. Alright, because there's some items down here that we want to grab. There's a large med pack here, and then if we turn around underneath the stairwell, there's going to be uh, some clips for some uh, stuff that we want. We may have to crouch to get to this one right here. Alright, now let's go back up there and... Uh, we want to find the center, okay, the third, the second floor, we're on the first floor right now. Uh, the second floor entrance is where we want to be in order to, um, this is where we want to be right here. Find the, uh, the cleaner guy. Uh, as you pass through that thing, it's going to activate the, uh, the trip wire. Uh, so avoid that, but grab the SMG ammo that's right there in the corner, and then also grab the rig ammo that's right here on the ground. And then you want to go cat a corner find some more SMG ammo. Now we need to be a little bit more careful. I'm going to save my game in case I blow up, uh, because uh, as you can see, these uh, lasers are timed and you want to hop through them as soon as the timer goes down and then try to get over here. Now, be careful because if he shoots you, you might flinch, you might become flinch locked, which means that you won't be able to move or do anything while he shoots at you and he gets free shots off at you the entire time. What we want to do is we want to kind of sprint over to this corner and uh, make sure that we have the SMG selected. And then we want to sprint, we just want to sidestep out here and get rid of this horseshoe mustache guy. Is she taken care of yet? Hello. Is she dead yet? We have to get back to Prague. No, Bouchard. She isn't. But your little friend is. I'll take care of you later. It's time I visited Prague. And here we are in Prague. Finally, we start the Prague levels. Another cold, dark city. Great. Don't you just love this weather? And here we are in Prague, and as you can see, we're outside and it's snowy. Um, I believe that there's supposed to be snow falling, but um, uh, I guess they forgot to put that in there when they released the game. And uh, there is a patch out there to actually let it snow in this area, which is pretty cool. Um, so you should check that out. Anyway, over here is Ludic. It's probably one of the first things that you'll do is come and talk to this guy, so let's do that. What do you know about that building over there? Uh, what? Okay, so in order to get through with this guy, what you want to do is you actually want to be polite with him. Because if you're polite with this guy, then he will eventually give you a weapon um, after you visit him again. A new weapon that you can use. So uh, let's just be nice to this guy for once. The one you're watching, with police tape all around it. The Vasily place? It's a murder scene. I'm a reporter. So what happened in there? 
Another Monstrum killing. You're not from around here. No, I need information, which I'd be willing to pay for. It'll cost you. I gather Vasily was some kind of art dealer. More than that, he was involved with the Mafia. Mafia? What makes you think so? Lady, I know so. I've been investigating Vasily's activities for some time. Tell me why he was murdered then. Vasily found something they wanted and got smudged because he tried to hang on to it. They set the Monstrum on him. You say he found something. Do you know what it was? A painting, perhaps? I don't know about that, but he was definitely silenced. The Mafia tidied away all the evidence, took it to the Strahov. Now you're going to tell me what the Strahov is, aren't you? No, your credit just ran out. Keep talking till the money runs out. It's not that. This is dangerous stuff, I'm telling you. I shouldn't be shooting off my mouth. You're a big boy. You can handle it. Tell me your name. Ludic. My name's Ludic. Okay, Ludic. What else? Yeah. The Strahov is the Mafia center of operations in Prague. There's been a lot of activity there recently. You're well informed. I'm a professional. It's my business. I've got dossiers on all the main players. It'll cost you. Okay, I'm in. You call these dossiers? Yuck! Do you know who that is? No, he arrived yesterday. That's Bouchard. He's a Parisian gang boss. I ran into him over a personal matter. Really? Is he Paris Mafia then? No idea. Who's that? That's Eckhart. He's the Mafia top guy from what I can find out, but I know less about him than the others. They're all gathered in the Strahov at the moment. All of them? All six major players. Eckhart and the other five. Ludic, I have to get in there. Today, how would you manage it? It's not easy. The place is heavily guarded. Security gates, cameras, ident scanners. But... But I could get an access code. I have contacts. It'll take me half an hour. Okay. While you're on your errand, I'm going to start with Vasily's. Be careful in there. And don't keep me waiting. It's not healthy to hang about on the streets, especially in weather like this. Stay warm. All right, well, that's enough politeness for one video. Let's go over here real quick uh, and take out our SMG. We should already have that selected and uh, shoot this guy up to realign our chi here. Oh, man, I didn't finish him off. There we go. So now that we're done with that, let's pick up the claw hammer that he was guarding. We're going to need this to get access to some of the things that are in this area, which include over here in this section, you may have, if you uh, explored, you may have noticed that there was this thing right here. Uh, you can pop the... Uh, lock off of this entrance and then climb down. Now the only thing that's down inside of this one is a small med pack so it's the only reason why I'm going down in here. Just to get that one item. So let's fall down and then go down the ladder. Don't necessarily need to climb down the ladder, just let go. Turn around to find the small med pack that's down in here. And now we need just to leave here and find another one of these uh, little entrances that's padlocked and use the claw hammer in order to open it and go down inside of it. So that way we can get in the Vasily's place and we can go explore in there. So that's our goal right now is to go into that uh, building that's right here that's all boarded up and or it's got tape on the outside of it. Yeah. We need to go in there. Okay, so what we want to do is to get in there is we want to go around the back end of it and we'll find a couple of uh, enemies back here that we can light up. And then there's a dog somewhere around here. And the other guy, there they are. Oh, what's nice is that when you sprint, it automatically puts your uh, weapon away for you. So that way you, it automatically draws it out again whenever you get done sprinting. So if I start sprinting, she puts her weapon away, and then when I quit, she takes it back out. But during that period of time, she um, cannot attack. So, right here is the entrance that I want to get into. So use the claw hammer on this thing and fall down in here. And we're going to go underneath the, uh, Vasily's place. I guess we're technically still in the same area, um, so there's that. Now when we come into this sewer area, we see the water. All we gotta do is side jump to the right, 
and uh, find this little opening right here. There's no other items in here. Even if you wanted to search, you wouldn't find anything. But this is where we want to go. Um, you see the door, the red door there? Uh, that's our exit. This is where we would need to go. There's no items or anything in this area, so don't worry about it. We're going to climb up in here, and we're going to find a familiar face. Well, that was pretty careless of you, Bouchard. Uh, while he's sitting here, you can talk to him to get information. It doesn't matter how you interact with him because the outcome is always the same. You may be able to get more information by doing certain routes, but let's just go through here. I want some answers, Bouchard. Why did you want me dead in Paris? You were just a side issue. A loose end that needed tidying up. Who ordered it? A madman called Eckhart. He was putting pressure on all my operations. Threatened my family. Killing my men. You saw one of them at the church. So, you sold out. I did what I had to do. Especially when I realized Eckhart was the Monstrum. What? You were prepared to deal with the Monstrum? I had to take delivery of a painting that was in the Louvre and bring it to the Strauf here in Prague. My painting? That wasn't easy to get out of the Louvre. Bouchard. Seem everyone's a loser. So why Prague? Eckhart is protected by a group base in Prague called the Cabal. They're almost as dangerous as Eckhart, and at least as insane. I was told the Mafia ran Prague. The Cabal used the Mafia front to distract attention from their real activities. But they're far more dangerous and powerful. Dangerous enough to use the Mafia as a front? Anyone too inquisitive about Cabal business simply disappears. Like my friend Von Croy. What was his involvement in all this? He was hired to look at one of the five obscure paintings that was in the Louvre. But he found out too much. He contacted Vasily, here in Prague, and they exchanged information. So, they were working together. Trading information, nothing more. Vasily worked alone. He also kept the fifth engraving bag. Why are the engravings important? Each engraving contains an encoded map of a particular painting's location. So one of those engravings told Von Croy where the Louvre painting was? Yes, but your friend got careless. The faxes were intercepted by the Cabal, and then Eckhart didn't need Von Croy. It was another loose end to be tied up, like Vasily. Killed like Vasily, you mean? Why does Eckhart do that to the bodies, Bouchard? And what does he want the paintings for? I don't know the details, but it's something to do with reviving the Cubiculum Nephili. The Cubiculum Nephili? The Sleeper. Last of the extinct Nephilim race. You've heard of the Sleeper. Eckhart is insane. He thinks he can use the Sleeper to breed the extinct Nephilim back into existence. There's no faulting his ambition, is there? So this fifth engraving that Vasily kept back is the key to the last Obscura painting. I'm going to take a look around. It'll be well hidden. Vasily was very cautious. Not cautious enough. The map in the last engraving shows a location called the Vault of Trophies. The Vault was one of the last Lux Veritatis secret strongholds, and Eckhart's been desperate to get into it. How do you know all this stuff, Bouchard? Information is survival. I survive. So do you know where the vault is located? Only that it spins a Strahov somewhere. And the painting is definitely there? Eckhart thinks so. It's one of the reasons the Cabal built a stronghold there. I'm going to take a look around. Are you going to leave me like this? Yes. Take a break. You've been running around a lot. I'll be back with the fifth engraving. Okay, so Bouchard gave us a lot of information here, and uh, that's pretty entertaining, uh, especially for the story uh, of the game. So uh, what we want to do from there is we want to kind of go 
directly across from Bouchard and find this door you can go in to enter Vasily's uh, living uh, Vasily's place. Okay, so there's really not much to do down here on the the bottom floor. There's just some stuff that you can kind of notice. Uh, he's got a desk here, and if you run Vasily through here, has some excellent artifacts here. Laura makes a comment about his uh, collection, and um, basically what you need to do here, that door right there is the front door. We can't go out it. You want to go up this, this staircase right here. I'm going to go all the way around to the other side, because we'll find a uh, cabinet that we can move, or a drawer. We want to move this all the way toward the scaffolding, My strength and we'll increasing. get a uh, lower body strength upgrade, or upper body strength, or some uh, body strength upgrade, one of the two. I believe it's upper body because um, she's got to pull, she needed the, the upgrade to pull this chain that we're about to go pull. So, we got to get to the top of the scaffolding here. And the chain that we want to pull um, in order to get through this quickly is the one across the way over there. Not the one that I'm pulling now. It's the other one, the one on the right side. This one I'm pulling right now is going to open up a, um, a chest. It's going to move a chest so that way we can get behind it and claim a small med pack. Okay, but notice that the chain, by pulling this chain, it caused this uh, um, stained glass window to kind of tilt inside. The, the lower half is kind of tilted on the inside. Well, we got to go out there now. Uh, we got to go over to the other side here and pull this chain to tilt it the other direction. And just make sure that you pull the chains and, uh, until you see it, some sort of cutscene that shows you that you did what you needed to do. And uh, that one, it opened up the clock face, and if we would have stood around a little longer, it would have showed us some, a little bit more. Um, it would have um, showed the clock that's on the ground, and it would have highlighted the number three. And so that's the solution to the puzzle. You're supposed to set the clock to three o'clock. Okay, I didn't, I wasn't able to show you that because I uh, moved Lara Croft away from the spot in order to keep the camera where it would would have shown you that. But the answer is three o'clock. So let's go in here. And just tap over until you hit three. Three o'clock even. And then hit the enter button, and I believe it's triangle on the PlayStation, in order to reveal a spiral staircase in the center of the room. So let's go over here now and go down the staircase. And now we're going to get a bunch of more information about uh, some artifacts. The Periapt Shards. Here's something about the Periapt Shards. They were said to be three weapons of light. Three crystalline shards shaped like spearheads. Hmm. No one knows how they worked. So what she's referring to is actually these items right here that are in my inventory. Uh, and I have three of them, go figure. Uh, there might be a bug where you might have more than three, but um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, Tres pariapti conjuncti cum justicia igne mala kingunt. I'm not sure exactly uh, how I got the shards, but I know that I got them in between um, the cutscenes between, um, the Louvre and Von Croy's apartment, so that's interesting. The Sleeper, Cubiculum Nephili. It says here, the Sleeper, or Cubiculum Nephili, a stone cask, reputed to contain the last remains of the extinct Nephilim race, buried somewhere in Turkey. All right, so that's some pretty interesting information. On here, over here on the ground is a piece of paper that we're going to want to examine real quick because it's going to give us some information. Uh, specifically, the code at the very bottom of the page reads 31597, and that code it corresponds to what you need to type in right here. So let's do this, and this kind of makes a uh, Z pattern. Uh, it's a pretty easy way to remember it that way. 31597. Yeah, once you enter the code correctly, the painting will move out of the way to reveal the Obscura engraving. So now that we have the engraving, we can leave this area. Didn't take us very long to do any of this. And uh, actually leave Vasily's place altogether. So this is the door we came in. Let's go ahead and leave through here. Looks like Bouchard is uh, taking his leave. Okay, uh, well, what's going on here? How did you get out, you know what I'm saying? Well, as we leave this area, we will find this door, and if we approach it... What the hell's going on around here? Let's 
see if he's got keys to this place. So it looks like Bouchard uh, bit the dust pretty big, and there's some keys next to him, so make sure you pick these up, because you're going to need these to get out. Now, there's still no items in this area, so let's just go ahead and leave the same way that we came all the way back to here. Uh, if you keep going that way, you go into the sewer area. We don't want to go in there. We actually just want to come up to this door and open it. The, the key uh, allowed us to do that, that we got from Bouchard. Okay, and there's nothing else to do in this area, so we just talk to this guy and we'll head on over to the Strahov Fortress. Did you get me the Strahov code? I told you, I am a professional, but I want the exclusive story. Events in Paris and whatever happens here. Done. This passcode will get you into the warehouse area. It's only a low-level pass, but at least you'll be inside the complex. I can take it from there. Have you tried this code yourself? Me? No, the place gives me the creeps. Workers have gone missing and all kinds of spooky stuff. What goes on in there? God knows. I'd give my innards to find out. But it's way too gothic for me. If you uncover anything, give me first shot at it, huh? Sure thing. I also got this. It could come in handy. The Strahov is one weird place. A handy machine pistol. Gas punch reloader. No invasion force should be without one. How much? Have you seen what these can do? How much? 800 euros. Okay, let's talk in the car. The Strahov isn't far. Alright, so if you didn't get the dialogue that says that he found something and gives you a machine pistol, then you didn't, you weren't polite enough to him, and you go back and be polite to him. But, uh, this is where I'm going to end this video, ladies and gentlemen, I am Badass Games. Thank you for watching my Angel of Darkness walkthrough, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Joey, what are you doing in Prague, man? Who invited Joey to Prague with us? This is unacceptable, we don't need him running around and snowy out here. Will somebody please do something about this? Thanks, Lara.